Hi there. Um, Susie Smith talking again. I am going to show you a few of the paintings where I incorporate C and um, some of these actually sold so it's not a selling spree just to show you how I play with the theme of water um, and how it heals me when I can't be near the sea even the the colors of the sea will help me um, this is from a story I've written that's called Billy's in the bathtub Billy and Billy and this is uh, actually painted with seawater which is one thing that I really like uh, it, it's, it sort of changes the dynamic of the ink and the watercolour uh, which I'm sure that that uh, those of you who are artists already already know. Um, I found out only recently this summer, I think, that David Cass, an amazing water artist that you should all know and uh, go buy his stuff, he actually paints with uh, salt water as well. I pick up salt water when I'm away so that um, I have some and if I can't then I use um, um, some salt flakes or salt, salt flakes. Here we have an interesting one with a, a volcano eruption. We're back to the bathtubs. I do have a thing about bathtubs uh, and since I live in land I can't get there so easily so I do have a uh, salt bath um, so, so I've got a lot of sort of uh, bathtubby um, theme in 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 my art because if we can't be by the sea then at least we can feel the waters around us which I think is is really important. Here we have a little girl, underwater fairy in the sea woods. And back to my meditation picture. And um, this is a mosaic I am working on at the moment. Um, I don't know quite where it's going, but you know, definitely got the waves. This is from Erna the Flying Whale. And here we have the Kraken. Release the Kraken! Right? Okay. Um, I love her. Little sea fairy girl. Anyways, I um I was thinking how uh, how important um, communing with nature is, and how we can do it um, through our creative uh, endeavors as well. And one of the things uh, I find can be both uh, interesting and difficult, and everything else. Is actually letting letting fully rip, you know, letting fully go of what's going on in in inside as as well. And sometimes a good roar to the sea is is nice, or to the woods. Or, although if you scream in the woods, might might think about that. And it's one of the things that I do to express that because a lot of my art is quite precise. Um, that picture there is actually mm, part of a series that call, is called Thinking in Blue that I did in the 90s. I think this is the only picture left from that. Uh, and it is from 
a memory from the first time I went uh, scuba diving and I, s and, uh, I was so fascinated not with what was under me but what was over me in the sense of of the the bubbles and the seaweed but the bubbles going up the sun breaking through um the water uh, and m you know my air going up meeting the sun it was just so I did about I don't know 20 paintings uh, of that of that theme but what I do now is even though a lot of my paintings are regimented I uh, routinely throw paint which you can see on the wall here <laughs> um, yeah my husband is not he's not super fan of my throwing of paint but you know and I've used this throwing of paint um, as um, the cover of both my my books I, I have a trilogy where the third book isn't re uh, finished yet but these are flash fiction and poetry about the sea another way of expressing it but on the front on the covers so this is number two in the blue trilogy um is uh i threw paint uh i threw paint in the color colors of the sea that i miss the most uh so the first one is actually it's a more bluey blue but this is a more greeny this is a more greeny blue um, I think I'd like to read to you one of the uh, poems from uh, Sea Changer um, because it is a book that talks about how you can use water um, as a way of, of, of healing just being by the sea and I've been so fortunate to be allowed to use um, uh, a few reprints of or something else of uh, Tiasha Owen her uh, Owen's paintings and uh, she is one of the most accomplished uh, seascape painters that I know uh, but more importantly from the first time I saw her paintings I felt like there was a connection that brought what she felt and saw and heard into my head directly, like a so she, like a muse. Anyways, so this uh, painting uh, is called "Staying Cloud." There was a rush in the way it stood still, the cloud bursting itself on pointy birds, flickers of power kisses, like sun flares, but not. For hours I sat unblinking, unhinging, thinking, staring at the tiny movements of change, never seemed to earn the right to live, this cloud, kept in place, the interface of heaven and sea, and me. There was a rush in the way it unmoved, unglued, but kept true right here in front of me. For hours I watched, blinking, rehinging rethinking every gust that kept it there that cloud bum salty wet from soggy sand fingers january blue despite home knitted hues wrapped around my aging shoulders dunes right to exist changing ranging raw winds finding every crevice Blowing sense into my unblinking, unhinged thinking, and that cloud right in front of me, so close yet not close enough, teaching lessons of trust and a she to a sea shaken heart. I blink. Cloud unhinges, blows me over and sweeps me up. Its name is Staying Cloud. Um, anyways, different ways, isn't it, of of working with the blue mind mindset? Um, if you can't be there by the sea, then find a way of accessing it.
Yeah. Thank you. Happy Blue Mind Summit Day. She says hello too. <laughs>